when I was picking my major when I was at the prime age of 18 years old, I basically took personality tests, quizzes, I googled a lot, but I just could not find a good place to kind of compare all the degrees and everything. And now there's a lot more sites, there's a lot more tools, so let's go over them. In this video, we're going to be going over this book called A Roadmap, which I found after I graduated college, and then the associated Road Trip Nation website, which basically shows a bunch of career paths, the gross, trajectory, all that fun stuff. If you're new here, I'm Liz. I'm a data science manager at Intel. I originally went into mechanical engineering, so I completely pivoted my career. So if you're interested in kind of pivoting careers, productivity, all that jazz, feel free to subscribe. Otherwise, let's jump into it. So I have bought this book for basically every person who is going into college or going into the workforce. And this is it right here, the roadmap book. So as you can see right here, there are circles. You basically pick a bunch of values, you pick a bunch of topics and you mesh them all together to give you different options of what you can do with your life. But the cooler part is their website. So if we hop on here and we go to their website. So if I were to go back to when I was 18 and I chose mechanical engineering, I would type in mechanical engineer search and it looks, oh, there's, you know, some videos of interviews of mechanical engineers. But if we go to careers and we go to mechanical engineers, we can see this nice little guide here, which I'm like, oh, it's so good. I wish I had this. I would have totally loved this when I was 18 or even like mid college picking my degree. So here we have a nice little overview where it has like the salary mean. So 90,000, that's doing pretty good. You know, projected job growth slower than the average. That is interesting because you're like, hmm, I wonder where this will be in 2029. So, and then it says most common level of education. So that's important to know too, because you have to know, oh, I need to go get a bachelor of science in uh, mechanical engineering. Then another cool thing is they have related careers on here. So as you're looking at careers, you're like, oh, there's this and this, and maybe I might want to go into electrical engineering and not mechanical engineering. And then they have examples. So this guy, Inventables, which I've used their carving machines, by the way, really good stuff. So you could watch a video on how he kind of went into mechanical engineering or this guy who went into jet propulsion. Like, how cool is that? When are you going to interview a guy who's working for NASA? Um, then it has, what did they do? You know, it has a nice little um, description. The other cool thing right here is when I was applying for jobs, this would have been very nice to have because I didn't know a mechanical engineer was very similar to a process engineer. So right here, it tells you process engineer. So you could go apply for that job because they're closely related. That is something I really wish I had when I was applying for jobs. And then they have typical leaders, which I love, and then tasks and responsibilities, because then you can see what they're actually doing day to day. And I'm not sure I would have picked mechanical engineering if I had read this list. The cool other thing is education. It shows you 56% have bachelor's degrees. So you're probably gonna have to get a bachelor's degree. You know, majors related to the career, you could go get an engineering mechanics degree. And then they have examples here of people with, you know, this guy works at the Army Corps of Engineers and he has a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering. So it's very cool. There's all kinds of information. You could scroll back up here and click some of these videos. So if I wanted to see this video and I'm like, oh, who's, who's this guy? And we'll silence him for a second and then see his milestones and how, where his road map led him and then kind of go down and see, you know, what, what is his education and stuff like that. And this is just so cool because then you can go in and now I'm, I'm not in this, this field, right? I'm now in data science. So we can look at data science, I should say scientist, scientist, I don't even know how to spell it. There, here we go. And this 30%. 30% much faster than the average. Now that's a little bit more interesting, right? Than mechanical engineering, because I switched from mechanical engineering to data science. So that was a good move, right? Because the, the salary median increased and then their average projected job growth is increasing as well. That's, almost, that's like 10 times more growth than mechanical engineering. So it's interesting and I can kind of look down here Looks like there's no data for some things, but um, you can also look, oh, people are getting uh, computer science degrees and some people have math degrees and it's, it's a little bit more broad. Um, so 
I really enjoy the site. I completely recommend it if you are looking to switch careers or you're going into a career or you're picking a major that they force you to pick at 18, which is way too young in my personal opinion. On the same note, I do have a resume building course. I host it on Skillshare. So there is a 30 day free trial. You can click below and cancel it if you hate it or if you're just not inter interested in Skillshare anymore, you might actually like it because I still watch like Ollie Abdal's courses and Thomas Frank's courses on there. So I enjoy it, but check that out below because it could help you with, with this and then the resume building together. You could put together a pretty good resume. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.